Hi, this is Derek Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with James Ernest from GPS Games. Hello. Look, looking at Girl Genius The Works. Yeah, we are. We are. It's a very old game, but now it's... Uh, we well, would you yet. consider me very old, Doctor? Yeah, it is very <laughs> old. Uh, so Girl Genius is a comic by Phil and Kaya Folio yep. that launched around the same time that we did the first edition of this game. Uh, it's a puzzle game, and it's based on the idea that everything is a cog in a giant machine, and you're twisting and turning these cogs and making stuff pop out of the machine. That game was filled with characters that were predicted to be in the comic book, but the comic kind of hadn't been done yet. Right. So now there's 18, I think, years of this comic behind us now, and we've gone back to work with Phil and Kaya to do all new art, uh, all new cards for a sexy new edition that's going to be kickstarting next month and then shipping uh, by the end of the summer. Okay. All right. Maybe go into overview of gameplay. Yeah, for sure. Don't know. Um, I mean, 2001 is like a different era. I, it is. It is. Uh, you know, the, the their comic readers are made of a lot of the same, of course, a growing group, but a lot of them are going to remember this game. Yeah. Many other people will not have seen this before, and that's fine. Um, it, it is, like several of the games we've done recently, a a souped-up edition of a, of, a prior, of a prior game. Okay. So the game all takes place on this board. The, the play mat is optional. This is going to be one of the rewards we do in the Kickstarter, but you don't really need the mat. You just need these 12 cards from the deck. You start by flipping up two opposite corners, and then on your turn, you're going to flip up one of the face-down cards to begin your turn. Uh, so go ahead and do that. I'll just walk you through a turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're going to pick one face-up card, and you're going to spin it. And what you're trying to do is line up edges that are the same color. So if this was lined up with that, then something magical would That'd happen. That'd be perfect, but, but I can only uh, spin one. You can only spin one card. And you're going to check just around the edges of the card that you spin to see if you line something up. Now, you're fairly safe. I don't have my glasses on, so I don't know what all these cards do. <laughs> uh, you're fairly safe here. I know he's a villain. I know he's going to do something bad. But, um, right. but if I turn if this... If you turn that, it doesn't change anything, and then it's over to my right. turn. And if I turn this, then that just sets you up to right. do right. something. All right, so I'll flip that. Uh, nothing. There's no, there's no move there. I'll do a move. It's back over to you. Uh, you lined up those with the flip, but you have to spin something first. But I can't so spin yeah, you can't else. you can't do that. He's right, a bad guy right, too, I'll, so I'll nobody wants to pop him. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'll do this and see if I can make Wait. a thing happen. Oh, but it you works only you only, only check around this guy. It. You check around this card when you spun that card. All right. right. Okay. Uh, I got uh, nothing as well. I'm trying to fast forward to you know the the meat of the game. Go ahead and flip something. Let's see okay. what we get. Uh, I'm gonna imagine. cheat, and you're gonna flip that again. Okay. Okay. So although you don't you don't really want to pop this card. But let's say you do. Okay. So so you first you flipped it in this position, right? Yes. Um, then you spin this card. You check around the edges of that card. And you see these two red are areas lined up. The one with more symbols pops, and that's Baron Wolfenbach. Okay. Um, popping means you pick it up, you follow its instructions, and then you put it aside in your score pile where it's worth points. So the sevens, that's, that's the point value. The card says two things. It says pop all constructs, so you're looking for... Anything that has construct in the details or in the name, uh, okay. and I don't think Nothing. there are any. And the second one says lose a turn. Okay. And we provide these convenient tracking cards, which in case it gets really complicated, they're actually useful. At the end of your turn, you're going to replace the card that you popped. You're going to play that replacement face up. And again, the matching colors doesn't hurt you there because nothing is spun, so nothing's going to get checked. You might put two reds together here or whatever. Right. Um, so yeah, those are. I can't make a move out of that because it's already locked up. And then you draw your hand back up to five. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I'll take a turn. I will still get nothing useful. Okay, I've got that going on. All right, I'll spin this. This is a dingbot. <clears throat> it says move all the dingbots from everyone's score pile into yours, so I, I, I can do that. Uh, I'll replace that card like, uh, well, I, I let's see if I actually pretended to play the game like I was really trying to win. Uh, I might play a replacement like this, because now that you're losing a turn, right? Right. I'll take that away from you, and I get to go again. I'll flip this, I'll spin this, and that pops uh, Transylvania Polygnostic, which says I may peek at two face-down cards. I will do that. I want to know what that is, and I want to know what that is. And now I know, and it's back over to you. All right. <laughs> Turn. Yep. Hey, I have to do another villain. Because that's the way I am. Move a minion from your hand to your score pile or lose a turn. All right, so he's only bad for you sometimes. If you have a minion in your hand, he's good. I do not. You got no minion? Okay, well, you're going to get another one of these. That's right. I'm not going to go hey, so easy got, on you next I time. You got 15 here. points, all right. 
That's right. So it's worth it. <clears throat> the only other rule that is relevant to this game, and I'll mm -hmm. fast forward to that. Go ahead and play your replacement, and then I'll flip up the rest of the board. Okay. So, so far we have been allowed to spin whatever we want. If we wanted to bleed off energy somewhere else, we could do that. Right. Now that the board is all face up, if there is a move that will pop something, you have to take it. And so as we've been carefully playing these cards, we might have been sort of locking up the board to force the other player to take the only bad move that's left. Right. And if, you, if it's your turn and you're like, I don't want to take that villain, I don't want to lose that turn, you can say, I don't see any moves. And then I have to like show it to you, or maybe we don't see a move. Right. If that happens, we take the whole thing, we shuffle it up, and put it back out face down. So that's just that's called a frozen board. Okay. Um, the end of the game is when somebody accumulates uh, 70 points. Okay. If we play with more players, that target score goes down, but everything else is the same. And some cards that are bad for two players are actually good when you're playing partners or something like that, because right. I have to choose another player to do a thing. I can choose my partner to do it instead of one of my opponents. Okay. And that's the basics of the game. Okay. Uh, the way we're doing it on Kickstarter is there are four 60-card decks um, which sort of cover four major arcs of the storyline. Okay. And because we know that not all backers have a lot of money, we want them to be able to come in and buy one deck or two deck or however many they want. Uh, and then subsequent to that, we're going to do a retail package that is a subset in one box for a, for a not $44 price tag. Right. Uh, so that's the way you're going to see it. You'll still be able to order the individual decks also, but there's going to be sort of a collected edition as well uh, once the Kickstarter Sampler. is like shipped out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love this. Think of nothing but a monkey. Think of nothing but a monkey. That's that ability. Uh, yeah, Girl Genius is a funny strip above everything else, and you Phil's artwork is uh, very, very recognizable. Uh, Nate Taylor is actually the inker and colorist on this, and he's done a lot of good work for us before. So this is going to look really sharp. Uh, it's going to play really well. I've got all the best designers, you know, testing with me right now and making sure all the decks are balanced. So I'm looking forward to it. All right. Thank you for the overview, James. Sure.